This is a very important question, I think, because uh, we have now different possibility for the patient. The point number one is stem cell transplantation because stem cell transplant is the only potential curative treatment we have for, for a patient with myeloid fibrosis. But we have, of course, problems of mortality. So it's quite important to select patient at the better. Because we have to do, we have to apply the DIPSS score, the MISEC PM score, the uh, MIP70 score. So we need the mutations plus uh, clinical aspect of the patient to define the best patient for stress, the best candidate for stem cell transplantation. That's the point number one. And now we have two drugs, uh, two JAK inhibitors are viable in most parts of the countries for the treatment of patients with myelofibrosis. One is roxolitinib and the second is fedratinib. It is not easy to, de to, to decide when and which of the two because we have not standard randomized clinical study comparing each with the other. Uh, both drugs are effective in terms of SVR 35% so spleen volume reduction and symptomatology. And Fedrati seems to be particularly effective in those patients with a platelet count between 50,000 and 100,000.